Morning, everybody. It's about uh, 7.30 on Saturday morning. Uh, we just came back from walking the, walking the pups. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start turning these three faith, hope, and love pins. Um, I did not get them barrel trimmed last night, uh, but that's not going to take long. I'll get, that'll be the first thing I do. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is sharpen my chisel. Then I'm going to barrel trim them. And I've got to get my lathe set back up. The last thing I was doing was roughing out this piece of cedar. And I've got it roughed and ready to go. I'm not sure what I'll make out of it, but uh, I got to get that off the lathe and I got to dig around and find my mandrel and get that put back on. So I'm going to work on that, get everything set up, and then I'm going to have a glass of hot tea. And we're going to come out here and we're going to get these pins turned. When I'm preparing to sharpen a tool, I'll start off by taking a Sharpie, red or black, doesn't really matter, and I'll color in the bevel. I then lay my tool in the pocket of the sharpening system and I rotate the wheel by hand and what I'm looking for, as you can see how I've got a nice straight line from top to bottom, that means I've got my angle set correctly. If there's just a, a, a little scuff on top or a little scuff on bottom, you know that you need to adjust your, your arm in or out. At this point, we're ready to sharpen. And all this will take is one or two quick passes to get a razor sharp edge on this tool. I do have a face shield on to protect my eyes. It makes a lot of noise because there's all kinds of stuff on the table that's vibrating, but you can see I've got a nice shiny edge on there and that tool is now razor sharp. Well, I really hope you enjoyed working along with me there while I sharpened my tools, prepped my lathe, 
barrel trimmed the blanks and got them on the lathe and got everything set up. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm just going to turn. Um, I'll come back and show you what the pins look like when they're finished. I've got my three pins finished. Um, it was a very trying morning. It's chilly out. You can see I've got a coat and a sweatshirt on. Um, there is no humidity in the air and I had a miserable time getting my glue to dry. The very first pin that I did, I ended up sanding it back down and refinishing it a second time. So this took a lot longer than I expected, but the pins turned out amazing. They look great. I'm going to show them to you in just a minute. Uh, so what I did is I adjusted as I would put CA on, I would let it sit for a while and I would come back over to my drill press and uh, I barrel trimmed all of my blanks that were laying out that, you know, needed to be barrel trimmed. Uh, I cut a new blank or two and, and just basically worked on these other kits, getting them prepped because, uh, you know, th there's no sense just standing there staring. So anyway, enough talking. Let me show you the three pins that I made today. Here they are, three faith, hope, and love pins in olive wood. I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. The olive wood, I, I just am amazed every time I turn that how beautiful that it is. Uh, I cannot wait to get these up to the store because I think they're going to be extremely popular. 